What if I just like wore my hair to this side for the video? Like how would that? I don't know. I mean, how would that? I, I think it might cause some uh, brain confusion. How would that? Um, that they look good. <laughs> they look good. Right. Hey there, guys. What is up? It's me, Riley, and Sam. <laughs> And we are, you know what, you know what's, what's uh, kind of cringy and ironic, Sam? What, what, what is it, Riley? Creepypasta. Oh, I have not heard that word before now. What does it mean? Well, a creepypasta is basically the online equivalent of a scary story. Takes, oh. for example, the rake, slender man. As if, uh, like, such as, uh, campfire stories. But for the internet. Oh! <laughs> you know what's even more cringy and ironic? Then creepypastas? I don't know. Hmm. Creepypastas written by 11 year olds? Yes. You know what's even worse than creepypastas written by 11 year olds? I don't know. Probably pokepastas. Which are Pokemon creepypastas. That's You've the, all read them at one point. The best kind. I mean, depending on your point of view. They uh, are those like my video game ca cartridges haunted kind of creepypastas. And the. the the legendary Pokemon was a death skull. Then it scared me and I threw the Game Boy to the end. It's, it's bad stuff. <laughs> Pokemon Blood Red version. <laughs> no, this is better. This is Pokemon Soul Yellow. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a uh, Pokemon creepypasta that you're Oh, shoot. What? I didn't change the picture in the back. What is? What is it? It's Danny it's, Trejo. It's Danny Trejo. Hang on, we gotta change the picture in the back from Danny Trejo. Does it say right Happy Hanukkah? Oh, there you go. Nice. Keep going. Hang yeah. on. Yeah. You good? Hey! And uh, now we're gonna read this excellent pokey pasta that I made uh, when I was 11. Sam, are you ready for the shizzle? Yes. Let's begin. Hello. I hope someone is able to read this. Anybody? Please, anybody? In the case that not even a single soul is reading this, please hear my messed up story. Is that what? Is, is that why it's called Pokemon Soul Yellow? Yeah, I think so. Because right. it's his soul. I, I don't actually remember the plot of this. I just yeah. read like the first three sentences. Well, and I'm like, we need to make a video. Well, I mean, this. I guess you'd better start from the beginning. I will start from the beginning. Oh. I was a YouTuber, relatively popular in my town and among friends, because YouTube uh, has very localized Yeah, uh, right. you, you, you. <laughs> Only the people in uh, Buttsville, Kentucky will be able to see your yeah. videos. This meant I was into uploading gaming videos. Oh, yes. Ooh, Minecraft. Eventually, I wanted to upload videos on my favorite games from when I was young. Roblox. Ooh. <laughs> so I picked up a Game Boy Advance from eBay, relatively cheap. It came with a bunch of classics, such as Shrek's Fairy Tale Freakdown and We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. The sense of irony is really strong <laughs> even when we're... <laughs> but it's so funny, you know, it's, this wasn't written ironically. Some None of this Somebody once told me the want. So this wasn't written ironically in any way, shape, or form. I was dead serious writing this. I thought I was going to upload this and this was going to be like the next Slender Man bend round rake. Like this was going to be the ultimate Pokepasta. Huh, funny. Interesting how I still have a sense of humor. We need to charge the battery pack because the camera's dying. This is excellent. Too soon, Executus. Hey, mm. we're back. <laughs> Chalice down. Since when did you get that? I don't know. I'm a very. I, I live an exotic lifestyle. So uh, we're currently at the like first third, par third, third paragraph. <laughs> One third through the first page. How okay, pages? Cool. Too many. <laughs> Way too many. Let's keep going. Anyways, I was playing this small library of crappy games when I realized I didn't really like any of them. Language. I knew an old pawnbroker downtown who occasionally had cartridges left, so I slid on my jacket, slipping my GBA in my pocket as I drove off. Way too much slipping in that sentence. I slipped that. You slipped that GBA. I slipped right into a car and then I slipped down the road and slipped then I slipped right. on some black ice and died. Slipped the right end. Into her DMs. This is the story of how I died. Keep going. <laughs> I'm intrigued. I pulled, I pulled into the broker <laughs> and went inside. I saw a few cruddy games, much like the ones I had gotten with but my you system just crappy earlier in the story. So are you just gonna? Is this like that, a, that's like my? I are use you my, trying I use, to get like PG thirteen yeah, rating? Yeah, I like use you my, can only use like one. I, yeah, oh I, man, I had to. I had to. Use, I used up my edge count early on in this story. <laughs> edge count. I saw a few credit games like the one that I had gotten with my system originally. However, I did find a Bomberman with significant cosmetic damage, and I decided to pick it pick it up mainly because it was the only game in there that was in a steaming pile of crud. Uh, can you look up if there was even a Bomberman on the original Game Boy? I'm gonna go. Okay. Keep reading. Alright. Um. <clears throat> so I got in line towards the small glass booth where the pawn broke through stood. Are you like hacking the CIA over there, man? No, give me a second. I'm almost into the mainframe. We're good. We're good. Is, is the firewall too strong? I'm in. <laughs> there is you the lock. I think you permanently locked up my computer. 
There's the bomber man. Can we try and finish this first page, please? <laughs> there was a several person line, all seeming to have an item to sell. I looked around the line and saw the pawnbroker standing there, currently bargaining with some guy to sell an old clock. He was overweight, Caucasian, oh. with like a goatee and a mustache? He's I don't really remember. He was bald and wore a black polo. Oh my gosh, it's Rick Harrison. It's, it's Rick Harrison. <laughs> it's a pawn shop. One thing I learned after all these years, years is that you never, you never know. know what haunted Game Boy cartridge is going to come through that door. I didn't oh. think much of him then, but I knew the guy to an extent, and he seemed a little off. His eyes were glassy, and he was slow to respond. Like a shark. Bored at the prospect of a long wait, I flipped out my GBA and played a game to pass the time. Like Bomberman. 88% of Metacritic. Oh, but that's... Yeah, that's GBA. Game yeah. Boy Advance. Yeah, that'll work. I think there's this uh, store was sponsored by the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Five years after yeah, it ended production. <laughs> like, just to keep it in the public you mean consciousness. Tell me that Game Boy Advance saw production in 2006. Six. Maybe. I don't know. So was... Check if the Game Boy Advance stopped production in 2006. <laughs> this is just gonna be an excuse to be on my phone the entire video. I hope you realize. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening now. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <clears throat> then I was startled by a smash behind the counter. Oh, he was spooked. I looked up. SOMEBODY ONCE TOLD ME BEHIND THE COUNTER I looked up, switching off my GBA and sliding it back in my pocket with a start Jeez, so much sliding I saw the pawnbroker had apparently dropped the clock onto the ground and was looking intently at me Awkwardly, I shoved my hands in my pocket and shrunk a bit The unwavering businessman quickly got from behind the desk and hurriedly walked over to me He was very intense in his actions This is like adjectives the book <laughs> This is like fifth grade level Trying to get those over... syllable counts up <laughs> Is that a Game Boy? He oh. said he was a large man, and I was fearful of his towering figure, standing over me, menacing, devoid of any emotion of any kind. Yes. yes. <laughs> I said, somewhat disturbed at his intensity. Okay. Would you like to see a really good game? <laughs> Can I play you? Like, <laughs> well, just... Yeah, well, you, you want to see... Would you a real good game? <laughs> I lit up. Yeah! I said, getting to my feet. Come. He said, taking me to the back room. My hopes were high. Maybe I would find a Nintendo classic. Nintendo. Oh man, I was like Sammy Classic Sonic fan back Whoa. then. I just, I just didn't upload to the internet. When will you learn? When will you learn? When will you learn? That you haunted Game Boy games have consequences! Go on. I followed him as he turned on the old lights that buzzed. Oh. There were boxes and boxes of stuff lined up on the shelf. He then Why took he's a not selling this, I don't know. <laughs> he took a second to look around and then pulled out a box that simply said, FEED in red letters. This disturbed me <laughs> until, until he poured out its contents. The Nintendo floodgates had opened. Yeah, keep going. I wanna, I wanna. And an, an entire box of yellow cartridges flowed out of the old cardboard onto the metal desk. DK64! Wait, no. <laughs> All this DK64, no expansion packs to play it with! Pokemon Yellow! I exclaimed under my breath. The pawnbroker nodded in a scent. A scent? A S S E N T. What? What a stroke of luck! The Alan Luck is capitalized for some reason. Yeah. What a stroke of the luck. Starfire is actually the protagonist in the story. If you didn't, if you didn't already know, I had bought the system mainly not for videos, but so that I could relive my childhood as well. And what better way to do that than to replay my favorite game, Pokemon Yellow? I hurriedly flipped out my small wad of cash and began to unfold it. How much? I said anxiously. I was eager to get this game in my Game Boy. <laughs> <laughs> However, the pawnbroker pushed the money back towards me. No, no. he said. Just, Just take, take one or two, two for free. I was excited out of my mind. Oh. I hurriedly grabbed three and sprinted out of the... He said take three. one. He said take one, one or two. two. Our three. protagonist is a jerk. <laughs> and with the rush, thanks, as I rushed into the car. The rushing and sliding book. I sat I in the seat. into the car. <laughs> I, sl I sat in the seat for a moment, starting up the car, feeling the cool plastic square in my right hand. Oh man, I, 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 I read a little bit ahead. I'm waiting for it. Keep, keep the going. fact that he just gave, gave with a capital G, me a game so freely, and why the box was even labeled cre creepily as feed. feed. Feeling the cool plastic square in my right hand as I pulled out of the lot. I was so pumped to play it. You pulled out of the... Do you know how to drive? Yes, this kid, my, my OC. Are you 18? My original character was 19 <laughs> when I wrote this, if I remember correctly. OC, please don't steal. <laughs> Had I not been so excited, I may have noticed the broker's glassy, soulless eyes. The fact that he just gave, capital G, me a game so freely, and why the box was even labeled creepily as feed. You mean to tell me this is the first time somebody had walked into this broker's pawn shop with a GBA? <laughs> 
<laughs> Probably. This is the first time anyone's thought to purchase a Game Boy Advanced <laughs> game and he was like, oh man! Are you ready for this hint, Sam? I, I read ahead. I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> Little did I know, it would be such a heckish experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. War is heck, guys. Two edges. <laughs> Time out. Let, let I made a reaper. Let me get the Dremel. Let me let me oh. saw off some of that edge. This is so edgy. This is like Jotaro Kujo maining as Reaper. How does edgy as a beach ball, dude? <laughs> no, beach balls actually have like yeah, the, the hard yeah, the, plastic zones the one, that can like the one like cut you worse than a careful. paper cut. Like you know, like this the edge of an otter pop, dude. It's like in the corner of your <laughs> mouth, and you like cut the corners of your mouth. Once I had gotten to my small house, I was fresh out of college, and I rented a bungalow. Bungalow is capitalized. <laughs> I rushed inside. I quickly dropped two of the three cartridges out of the table and, and I crushed them, the them beneath my feet. <laughs> Of his head.